Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, this video is actually supposed to go up on Saturday, but because I was like behind the schedule two weeks, uh, that didn't turn out so well. But um, I am back here with a video and I'm going to show you how to transform this screenshot, which is from a game, Kerbal Space Program, which you might remember from the channel. Um, and I'm going to take that screenshot and transform it into uh, this uh, picture. And that is all done in HitFilm Express 2017, so free software, which is a nice thing. So I think we should jump in right after the intro. Okay, so here I am in uh, HitFilm Express 2017. Fun fact, I was a beta tester for this software, so uh, I got it like in, I think it's January. Um, so uh, you uh, might not have known that. Um, and I could also test the destruction pack, film looks pack, atmospheric lighting, and mocha tracking. So uh, I have those for free, which is really nice. And um, what I'm going to do is start a new project. So a new composite project. I'm going to import the... Oh, that's uh, OBS. I'm going to import the screenshots over here. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. Um, and I mean, it's a nice screenshot, but it's not so interesting. So what I want to do is um, add another sort of galaxy in the background and add some light flares to the sun. Um, so it's always really, oh, sorry, it's always really handy to have a neat um, workspace. So we'll call this one Backdrop with a capital letter. And I'm going to duplicate this footage, which can be done by pressing Ctrl D also. And I'm going to name uh, this one um, Foreground. There we go, by the way, renaming a layer can be done by clicking on it and pressing F2 or just right clicking and then going to rename and stuff. Uh, but what we're going to do is click on the foreground layer and what we need to do is mask out uh, over here. So this is quite a long and tedious process. However, you can get quite uh, quick at it. So just a question that you can place in the comments. How is it going in uh, your place where you guys are living in your country? With me, honestly, the weather is shite. It's the worst, it's raining all the time. We uh, even have some hail uh, over here. Which is weird, because it's like... It's June, right? Yeah, it's June. I always forget the date, which is... Uh, not so handy. Okay, so now we have this guy in a spacesuit masked out. But we also need to do the same over here with the spacecraft. So go ahead and create a new mask. By the way, this doesn't need to be the most perfect mask ever. But if you want to have some more uh, detail in your final image, of course, it's always nice to do that. Okay, there we go. So that is the whole spaceship masked out. Now, um, you don't see anything yet, but if we turn off the uh, the backdrop over here, you can see that we have the spaceship and the Kerbal completely masked out, which is exactly what we want. Now, um, we're first going to start with the light flares, and I want to have that um, on top of the backdrop, but behind the Kerbal and the spaceship. So that's why we're going to create a new black plane, which you can call um, light flares, or you can honestly call it whatever the heck you want. Um, and then you're going to want to right click, go to blend and set your blend to screen. 
Now we don't see anything, but what we can do now is add your um, light flares onto that black plane layer and it will automatically be keyed out, which is uh, really nice. So let's do that. Um, first off, a nice little, oh, I'm still in mask mode. So I'll take this uh, light flare and take the hot spots and set that to the sun. Now, where the heck did the, um, did the ray go? Wait, what? Huh, well that's interesting. Okay, so then we'll set the flare type to, um, sun glare so that's the first thing that we want to have you can set your uh that thing you can set it over there now this is actually quite intense so this is the original and then we'll add like a bit to there then we'll add light uh whoa that's light rays i meant to add another light flare over here and um, set that a bit to the side. Place that over here. And you have these little, uh, I think they're called artifacts, which I personally really love. I love those things. Um, and then we'll set this to Sun Spike. There we go. Now this actually looks really nice, but it's a bit intense. Um, and then we'll go to other elements and maybe change the intensity That's really nice now. What I want to do here is again duplicate this one But then what did I set it to? You can like really um, Experiment with the kind of thing you want. I think it was golden artifacts. Yeah, there we go That's, So this is called golden artifacts and honestly, I love it. However, again, the intensity is uh, set very high, but I'm doing this for the artifacts you get here. So honestly, I think that the flares over here look really cool. So this is all the flare action going on. Then of course we have the backdrop. Now, if we didn't uh, mask out, the curve on the spaceship before it would look like this which is not correct because the light comes um, from behind the object so the object should be blocking it which is this so that's really nice now what we want to do is go for um, galaxy and I can type well that's fun so which one did I take I had a really nice image of a galaxy um yeah this one should work fine because it has black edges which uh you want to have you want to have sort of black edge uh thing so we'll save that to the desktop now i can import this <laughs> there we go and uh for now we can place it over here now shift and then um drag the corner because if you press shift then the um the the scale will be the same and then drag it somewhere over here that's fine now um, this is not the color that I want I wanted to have a sort of more orange look to it so that's why we're going to color correction use saturation and lightness drag that on there then go to master and go to U shift so this actually looks quite nice I add like this sort of uh, orange orange blue yeah that's about right I love it already and what now the key part here is to go to blend and then set it to screen now we'll drag this behind the light flares um, and here you have it like kind of blending in however this is really intense um, and then the spaceship in front of it doesn't look realistic so that's why we're going to transform and then opacity and kind of drag your opacity down and this is what you have 
Now maybe we can e we can of course um, fool around with the position. Yeah, I still think this is the best. Maybe here. No, that this still is the best. Um, yeah. So then we have this. Does that look good? Yeah, that that looks actually really good. Now on this whole thing we can add a grade so we'll go here and in the film looks pack you have all these uh, all these looks which makes sense because it's film look um, and I had a really nice really nice one but I can't seem to find it Because this just really is, um, this really is experimenting. This color gradient, what if we remove this color gradient, then take the contrast over here. So we can actually probably set the brightness to what should we do? Minus 5. That's fine. And then drag up the um, contrast to minus 4. Yeah, that looks that looks very cool. Um, okay, so there we go. Now we have this, uh, this grade, which is very subtle, but it adds this little bit of contrast. Now, if you... Uh, if this was like a scene in a film, because I uh, did make some... Um, I did make some case piece cinematics, so say if this was a cinematic and this was just a piece of video, then I would also take a letterbox, drag that onto the grade, and there you go. Now tell me, this does look pretty freaking epic. Now, um, for now, I'll take off the letterbox, but I'll export both ways. So, for frames, there probably is a, um a preset or maybe you can make your own preset that will work for that um, but I will go to options and then export frame now I can go here um, and call this one render 2 because I already rendered this uh, thing previously and now with the letterbox on options export frame render 2 letterbox and there we go ladies and gentlemen um, here is a little comparison for you guys so I hope this video helped uh, you guys out with um, enhancing your light flare stuff um, and even just your photos you can use gradients um, you can use your contrast settings actually all the things that you use for your videos you can use uh, with photos as well so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys this saturday with a new video bye hello everybody i hope you liked the video now click the top box to see my newest video and click the box below to see a highlighted one don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next week saturday with a new video